Hello?
We're going to play a medley of traditional Jewish melodies. We'll put it in a little arrangement and we we'll call it Ot Azoi Arrangements. Oh, tunes. Just want to say a couple of words that the melodies would be born really in the community and uh, the melody would be um, passed down from generation to generation, just basically by teaching each other or humming maybe, or playing violin or clarinet, um, and just like that. Uh, so the melodies are, they're not exact the melodies. They could be a little bit different from generation to generation too. So here it is, our generation presents to you. Thank you. 
Along other Purim traditions, there is a tradition, as for many other holidays, of a festive meal. Now, when I think about my great, great, great parents, I don't think they had a lot of choice when it comes to the festive meal. I mean, what choices do they have when your pantry is empty? So they would probably need something very versatile and simple for their festive meal. And I can think about a delicious Eastern European dish called varnishkes or water noodles. You can have varnishkes alone or with meat or with kasha. So it would be very nice if I had some noodle dough to make varnishes or a knife to cut them or a pot to cook. But you know what would be really nice? To have a husband to eat my varnishes.
And with this, I'm going to introduce Bartek Barkaczynski, who is the newest addition to our band. And you know, Bartek joined us right before the start of the pandemic. And by that time, we've been looking for a classroom clarinet player for a while. So when we found Bartek, he was just a perfect match for us. He played with us once or twice, and then the pandemic started. <laughs> So all we could really say to him, Bartek, who is to get in? Where have you been when we had the live audience? <laughs> so with that, Bartek is going to play a song called Who is to get in? Where have you been when we had money? Uh -huh.
Yiddish lullaby. It was first performed by Moshe Osher in the Yiddish film Der Wilderstotz Chazen, also known as Overture to Glory. Uh, it's a beautiful tune that plays an important role in the plot of this dramatic and sad story. Beneath the trees, the grass grows, and the cruel winds blow. Don't sit by the window where you can catch a cold. The sky is already dark with clouds. They are as heavy as the feelings in my heart. Sleep, my darling child, and stay well. Thank you. 
The next selection is consists of three melodies. The first is in style of Romanian doina. Doina is a style of music that was traditionally performed for many, many years and originated in Romania. And the interesting fact is that in traditional Jewish weddings, the violinist would come out right before the bride and would start playing those melodies. <clears throat> Usually they are very lamentic and very emotional. So he would be, his job would be actually to bring the emotions of the bride. So maybe she would even cry and everyone would enjoy that. Um, but then of course his other job would be to remind the bride that the best is yet to come and the good years ahead of her and she would be blessed. So three melodies, um, one is in Doina, the other one is in style of Hosidum. That's a style of music when the man is kind of slower paced uh, dance. And the third one is uh, based on the gypsy um, melody that is called the lark.
Good job. All right. So now we understand why it's impossible not to fall in love with a klezmer fiddler, right? <laughs> exactly. exactly. So our next song is about a girl who did just that. She fell madly in love with a klezmer, young klezmer violin player. And uh, this this is what she is singing about to her mother in heaven. It's it's from the old Yiddish movie, Eidel with and Fiddle, which means Eidel with his fiddle. So uh, in this girl, in this movie, the girl who pre, who travels with a klezmer band falls in love with our young klezmer violin player, and she sings this song, "Oi, Mama, I'm so in love."
Okay. <clears throat> Bartek is going to play the, the two, <clears throat> by the way, the clarinet became a king of Klezmer, uh, right um, in the, in the like, beginning of 20th century when the immigrants started coming in and they quickly realized that there's just in here in the United States and actually it started even in the Russian army a little bit back then, but here it really started blossoming. So the clarinet has been really beautifully featured by many famous uh, American musicians and one of the tunes was uh, played by Dr. the Great, uh, um, um, great Wine. And right now, Bartik is playing the tune that's called Bayern Reven in Palestina. Director of Klezmer Music Foundation, and he used to do this Yiva concert for years and years and years. And she really, the message is, she really wished she would be here. And we do too. Lori, we miss you. Hi, Lori, she's watching us right now. 
We love you, we miss you. Lori said she believes, she hopes to be back and sing for you for this lovely audience again very soon. So let's hope for this all together. Um, this is a part of the, her message. We want to say that by us, you are just grand. I won't be going sad, no one and I'm lonesome. Until I first met you, I was lonesome. But when you come and say, dear, my heart grew light, dear, and this whole world seemed to me. You really swell, I got to admit you. Your expressions definitely fit you. And so I broke my brain, hoping to explain all the things you mean to me. But being face to shame, let me explain. But being face to shame means that you're bad.